welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. This is Peter Drury and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Hi Peter, always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. Forward it goes. And the flag has stayed down. Has a shot! Decent enough try. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Well, I think the early signs have been very good for them. They've already got that defence unsettled, and now they've got to back it up. Rakitic, Daniel Alves, Messi, Luis Suarez with the ball through. Great leap! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. Rakitic unable to make it happen for all his good intentions tries a through ball what a throw in Neymar he's on a run down the left wing Sergio Busquets floats one over. Sergio Busquets. Top save! That shot was travelling. Loose ball. Good clearance and very necessary. Messi. Aimed long and direct. Now the pass. Rakitic. Iniesta Jordi Alba and it's Neymar where to from here and it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing so who can spark this game into life half time getting close now Luis Suarez plays it out to the flank. He's had a shot! Big moment! Massive goal! Look, there are always tactical adjustments for any coach to make at half-time, but when your star man gives you a critical lead just before the break, everyone will be paying extra attention. It really is the ideal tonic. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Barcelona take the lead, 1-0. 
And the whistle goes for half-time. So first half thoughts? Well, they're playing a game of wait and wallop. Uh, let the opposition have the possession and, and defend in numbers. And, and then wallop, hit them hard um, and fast on the break. It's worked once and they can do it again. Barcelona leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments and it's 1-0 at the break. Start of another 45 minutes. Barcelona carry a one goal lead into the second half. Iniesta passes it through. And he's there to cut it out. Pumps it upfield. Sergio Busquets, spoon forward. Luis Suarez is effectively being marked out of the game here. Yeah, and what they've got to realise, Peter, is that they won't get away with excessive force for long. So they're running a fine line there. Tries to switch the play. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, that's that's true. And is that how you're seeing it? Yeah, I, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's uh, it's where the room is. Luis Suarez pushes it out wide. Has a pop! A great save, real class. That wasn't the easiest of saves by any means, Peter. And I think his instincts were, well, they were just razor sharp. to the flank he's in space and looking for options and it's Luis Suarez Daniel Alves lobs it in gently gets it back they've scored near to half time to make it 1-0 it away well I think they've shown a lot of courage in looking for another goal but if it backfires the coach will certainly come in for some criticism they need to keep the ball played out to the wing now here's the through ball oh, that's not going to find its target Barcelona just have to run down the clock Luis Suarez, and that's a foul, free kick's been given. And that's going to be a booking. And that will be the final act. Barcelona, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Well, once they got that goal, I just thought they were very dogged in seeing the game.